This message is titled, The Plans of God. The Plans of God. So, think about this. Have you ever assembled something or put something together without using the directions? For, I'm probably only talking to the guys because I know, like, the ladies follow the directions. But, yeah, the pictures help a lot, too. But have you looked at something, honestly, and maybe it wasn't that complicated. You saw the thing, and you're like, I could put that. Like, I don't need the directions. I got it. I could put that together. It's, it's easy, and you, you did it. And pause, insert this right here, right now. Listen, to, pretty much to the ladies in the room. We, the guys, think we can do this because a lot of times we can. Like, that's the trap. A lot of times you can put it together without the directions. And even if you're uh, um, like me, I'm not very mechanical. Like, I need you guys to help me put stuff together, pretty much everything. Even guys like me can a lot of times put stuff together without the directions. And it works. That's the trap, because not every time does it work. Sometimes it doesn't work. So it gives us fake confidence, right? I can put it together without the directions. And then we try that every time, and it doesn't work. Because, listen, you guys know, even the, even the ones that are your contractors, your carpenters, your mechanics, you're good at stuff, you know you've done that, guys. You've put stuff together, and you had parts left over. <laughs> and it didn't work like it was supposed to. We... We, and hopefully it's not a car that you're driving, we, we literally went to Lowe's yesterday, Kim was looking at some blinds, we were at Lowe's yesterday, and it was in the morning, and we just so happened to be there by the grace of God at the time when they do a monthly, um, like, kids workshop for little kids, so the little kids get to build things for free once a month at Lowe's, and I think Home Depot does it too, and so I'm trying to, like, corral Patricio at, in uh, the store while my wife's talking to the guy about blinds, which is that it's so I'm still tired from that. But praise God that the workers came up to us like halfway through and said, Hey, do you want to come and do the, the kids' workshop? And I'm like, Yes, we want to do the kids' workshop. And it's, it's literally this like five piece little wooden cart that they had to put together. It was like this big when it was done. And, uh, and so it's like five wooden pieces already cut out, already ready to go, and maybe like six nails. That's it. That's all it was. And there was, you know, a little hammer, and they get a little apron and, and uh, little goggles, and they put them on. And, and there's directions right there, too. And the lady's like, you know, make sure you read the directions. But I, I got this because it's, it's, it's for like a four-year-old. Even though I don't know that much about putting stuff together, I, call, I mean, I could do this. I'm still a man. I could do this. So I don't need the directions. It's for little kids. It's, I mean, there's six nails, and the, the, the wood has pre-drilled holes in it. So all you have to do is line it up, hammer it down, and it, it, you're good. <laughs> How do you think this went? <laughs> no, we got most of it together. I'm like, Patricio, this is how you do it. Let me show you, because I know, and I'm your dad, and you were hammering the nails in, and we get to, to the end to put the wheel on. And because I didn't read the directions, or I looked at him real quick, and I'm like, oh. I put a nail in the hole where the wheel nail hole is supposed to go. And so I, I'm like, oh, I, did, I can't put the wheel on because I already put a nail in there. So I had to get out my knife and like dig a little trench around the nail, get the nail out, pull it out with the hammer, put the right <sighs> nail in the hole to hold the wheel on. Because I didn't read the directions... That were liter they were for little kids. All I had to do was look at it and go, okay, this goes here, that goes there. It's dumb, right? That's us when we don't follow God's directions. He and listen, his directions are perfect. There, there's, he, he can't be wrong, right? His, his ways are perfect. He's perfect. His directions, he, what he wants us to do and how, how he wants us to live is perfect. So why wouldn't we follow his way. Because, listen, he, here's the thing. He calls us to do things. He wants to include us in his plans, but he also wants us to do things his way, not our way. Because a lot of times I think we get into, okay, I'm going to do God's will, but I want to do it my way. I don't want to read the directions. I 
And that's, <clears throat> that's when we get messed up. So I want to look in... Uh,